oboe A flat scale. All right, so for this scale, remember we have four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and don't forget about D flat. Now, because we have that D flat, which remember in this case is gonna be your half hole and your middle pinky down here, D flat, because of that D flat, that means in this scale, we have to use that left E flat. So we're simply gonna swap our pinkies from the middle pinky over to that left E flat, and this note still uses the half hole up there. Okay, so D flat, then just swap to E flat. And because now this pinky is being used by that left E flat, that means that we have to use the forked F fingering. Okay, so that's gonna be your octave key, then one, two, three, four, and six. And this fifth finger is going to be up. That's why it's called a forked fingering, because you have a finger up in between fingers that are down. All right, so again, it's kind of the, the weird part about this scale, we have to use D flat. Again, use that with your middle right pinky. Then you have to switch pinkies to left E flat, right? It's that round one in there, right below the A flat pinky. And then you have to get to forked F, okay? We can't slide our pinkies around, okay? That's bad oboe etiquette. So again, you can blame it all on the D flat, but because of him or her, we have to go to left E flat and forked F in this scale, okay? But if you can practice that, and I would just practice that change a couple times, because remember, after the half hole E flat, you're gonna have to go to forked octave F, okay? Be able to get from half hole left E flat to forked F. It's a little awkward if you've never done it before, um, but if you can do that, then the rest of the scale should hopefully feel pretty easy. All right, so let's walk our fingers from the beginning. So A flat, then B flat, C, here it comes, half hole D flat, switch to left E flat, fourth F, G, and then A flat. So just make sure your pinky kind of migrates from that left E flat back up to the A flat, and then go back down, G, fourth F, and then you have to go to left E flat first, D flat, then C, B flat, A flat. All right, those are the correct fingerings for this to play this scale correctly and cleanly without having any blips. Because again, it's a bad oboe etiquette to slide our pinkies around like that. All right, so let's try it slow-mo with my metronome here. Down, up, down, up, A flat, here we go. A flat, B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G, A flat. G, F, E flat, D flat, C, B flat, A flat. All right, give your fingers a chance to go through that D flat, E flat, F pattern and back down E flat, D flat. Just practice those three notes, <laughs> kind of back and forth a bit so that your fingers really get used to that exchange, okay? Because that's just how we have to play the scale again. You can blame it all on D flat down here. All right, let's give it a try. from D flat to E flat makes the scale really, really smooth. All right, let's try it a little faster. And down, up, down, up, ready, here we go. And finally, we should be up to our quiz tempo of 70. And I already have. Make sure your pinkies are already hovering over where they need to go so they're ready. Down, up, down, up, ready, and... Alright, hope that helped you out with your A flat scale. Bye!